hello guys welcome to another video for the honda element this is the second way to protect my catalytic converter the first one it's like i painted now it's all dry looks clean too so i got this product it's called cat clamp looks like they have three different ones and and i got this one right here the the red one the bottom got it in offer up for 110 dollars that was a really good deal for the price to have just some piece piece of mine when I leave my car park outside the street. So what in, what it comes inside is this two of these two of these and one of them has threads as you can see here. That's where these bolts are gonna go. So it's for one side of the for each size of the catalytic converter pipes comes with two stickers one and two over there in the back and comes with different plates so we have to pick the plate that fits the best for the pipe of the catalytic converter the metal pipe and also it comes with a tool inside this which I'm going to use this is the tool right here it's an allen key and it has like a like a circle in there which is nice like a rounded inside and to install it and use this tool you guys are going to need one ratchet one smallest extension and one of these bits this is a special bit can buy it in harbor freight like for a two three dollars just make sure this is like a socket bit where you can fit a lot of sizes of this so we're going to put that in there there you go then it becomes socket so that's pretty much all you're gonna need for tools this one right here the bead and here is the wire cable which is really long this one just came with one that's how it's supposed to come I'm not sure if in another ones they come two cables but I got one this one was, was installed also in in an element before looks pretty clean just been used a while so right now just to make it easier I already know which one I'm going to use I'm gonna use these plates right here and I'm going to use this place right here because there is a bigger pipe and a smaller pipe so I'm gonna have it ready here here and then we're going to use this and this so basically what we do when we install it is we pick the the right plate in this case these two the guy he marked before this is a 250 this says 300 i already made sure it before so you're gonna need one of these combinations for one pie and another one for another pie. you can use it either way so what is gonna make all the job is gonna be these chins okay so to make sure which chin do you need you have to please first make sure where you're going to set it up so in this case i'm going to set it up right here right here i'm gonna set up the first one which is gonna be right here some people they do it like here but i just saw a lot of like pictures in google of people are installing it and after giving it a good tag i was deciding to set it up right here and of course after it's installed the guy who's going to steal this is can easily cut it from here right so this one like if they cut it from here they can always take it but in this case what is going to do all the job is that the wire i'm going to run it between or over this stabilizer bar uh, bar and the frame of the car which is there so that's what i think is going to save the cut if it's cut from here or at least if they see all this setup they can 
change their mind and just leave. Sometimes I'm just scared like if they see this they at least gonna vandalize the car or something because they might they couldn't do it. But anyways for $110 that I pay for this worth it all the way, $10 for a spray paint can. I have another video for that. So to check which shim do you need and then you're gonna grab all the different shims that comes in the box and then you're gonna start trying them for example this one looks wider if you see the pipe looks very white and this one looks a little bit smaller so I'm gonna try this one which is bigger and then I'm gonna put it right here just to make sure it's going to fit and it does fit so it does fit that's nice I'm just gonna use this set for that side I'm gonna leave it right here this is the set 300 and then the 250 set 250 which is smaller I'm going to use it right here okay so I have all that set up over there so one of these here and one of these here the one that comes with the threads inside the hole then this one here this one right here okay sorry about that just setting up the phone there we go and we are going to need these bolts right here so it's gonna be two for this set and two for this set gonna do what we're going to do is see if things twisted Sorry guys, okay, continue. So what we're going to do is we are going to assemble this. We are going to put this one right here like this. Okay. You see how it aligns with the holes. And then in the other one, the same thing. We're going to align it with these holes. And the ball is gonna go through here. So what I was thinking is if I put it like this, they are gonna be able to use the tool maybe from here to take it out so i'm gonna try my best to put it the other way like this let's see how it goes see if i have enough room right here to fit this tool maybe i just use this socket without the extension just like this with the little ratchet so I can fit if I cannot make it then I'm just gonna leave it like that anyways it's a lot of work for the people who's going to steal it to remove all this ball and the wiring and I think they might just give up so let's see how it goes okay so I have set up these two shims two bolts I don't going to use this anymore this, uh, these two because they are different size so I'm gonna put it away and let's see how it goes so let's see if i can make it fit yeah i think i'm going to be able to, to fit the 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 screw facing this way like this let's see because i don't know if it's going to hit here okay let's try anyways so I put it there, put the other one right here, okay, I think I'm gonna go the other way, that way is maybe I can like move it around after it's a little bit tight, so it's easier for me, okay, so let's try again, let's put this one right here, like this, this one like this, Put one first. The best is always to put it by hand first before using the tool so we don't like damage the threads of the of these clamps. 
and there we go. Oops. Gonna have some trouble, you know, to put it, but I think it's gonna be easier later after I put one at least. See if it's not hidden anywhere. There we go. kind of felt it that it got a few cuts in this is my tool We don't need to put the the wire yet and we don't have to go all the way in with this tool yet because if we tie it all the way we don't gonna be able to put the we are not going to able to put the the steel lines guys so I installed both of them already and one thing I notice is that once you put the screw here, right here, you can always just like move this around to make it easier for you and then later you can just play with it and move it around again. But I noticed that when you put this screw it should come very easy once you tighten it. You can even do it by hand or just using the, the bit. It's gonna be like butter, like really easy. If you're having a hard time to tie this, it means that something is not aligned right. And stop what you're doing, take it out, try to play with it again, and it should go really easy. That way you don't damage the threads, okay? So I also end up replacing the chins because the other chins that I got were too big. And I used the 225, so my recommendation is Play with all the chins that you have and see which one you like the best. Okay, so I already got there, got it there. Like I say, just hand tied it a little bit. I like this one, it's more steady. I cannot really move it much, which I might replace this one. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to kind of play with it and see which one I like it the most. And if you notice right here, the holes. The holes have to be free, like in this case you see it's free, but once you tie it, this shim is going to come down and then it's going to tight the steel line. So this is part one of the video, I show you the parts that comes in, in this setup, the cable, the clamps, the shims, how to install these ones, and in the second video I'm going to show how to install the the cable okay or how I'm gonna run it and I think I'm gonna put some like rubber hoses around the connection points where it connects the cable with metal because I don't want these to rattles so I was searching to also online about the some only some people are getting really noise depends on how you mount the cable so I hope you like this part one video I'm going to post second part later on this week